Huh? It's really cold. Really cold in here. Yep. Hey, Michael, um, can you just describe uh, the relief that, that, you know, you're probably feeling at 24 point lead at halftime, uh, pretty frenetic uh, finish to this one. Yeah, I mean, uh, they got the best record in the NBA. You know what I mean, like we weren't playing St. Buzzies tonight. Uh, you know, they're going to make a run. Um, but to hold that team to 86 points in their building um, with all the injuries and guys out that we have, um, even though we only scored 29 points in the second half, uh, we did enough to pull the win out, you know, so to respond from that home loss against Charlotte beat Clippers on the road in a close game and uh, to pull this one out against Golden State in their building. Uh, I couldn't be more proud of our guys. Uh, I thought Will Barton down the stretch made a couple of big, big plays. Um, we took away the three for step at the end, uh, which was good defense on their last play. Uh, and I thought throughout, I mean, uh, you don't see Steph Curry go six of 15 and five of 14 from three very often. So I give our players a tremendous amount of credit for buying in and executing the game plan. And uh, we know in a two, two more days when they come back to our place, uh, we'll have to be even better to have a chance to beat them again. For, to follow up on that, for three quarters, you guys kept Steph at bay, um, you know, with, with seemingly a lot of layered defense in Austin and Faku and, and Davon. What do you think was the key to holding him down for that long? And obviously nobody keeps him at bay the entire game. Yeah, you know, it's never one person with a great player. And obviously Steph is uh, one of the greatest to ever do it. Um, so, yes, you give Austin, Faku, Davon, different guys credit, Will, uh, but it's, it's five guys really defending as one. Uh, and we went over some things that shoot around today, some things that we normally don't do. But as I told our players, when you're guarding against a great team and a great player, you have to alter your defense. You can't play him with the regular defense that we use most nights. And uh, for, as you mentioned, my three quarters, it worked fairly well. Um, it's tough to keep Steph down for four quarters. It's tough to keep a team like that down for four quarters. So they made their run. We made enough plays to pull it out. And uh, now we can go home and enjoy one day at home before going back out on the road. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank you. Coach, uh, I know you've had several examples in the past of Nicola's good defense, his improved defense. Uh, do you, is there another one that you want to add to the book tonight? Well, yeah, this is uh, reminds me of, I think, the play against Houston earlier in the season at home uh, when Nicola has a game ceiling uh, block uh, tonight at the end of the game. Obviously, Nicola at the basket with a, uh, a huge defensive play, which did not allow them to tie the game up. So um, Nicola having 18 rebounds, 22 points uh, and making a key, key play down the stretch uh, is why he's a great player. And you, have, you need those types of plays to pull out wins like this. Um, Will making a couple of shots, free throws at the end, Nicola getting that block at the basket. Um, we weren't perfect tonight, but we did enough things to get the win. We'll watch film. We'll learn from it. We'll try to be better in a few days against the same Warriors team at home. Hey, Coach. Uh, you talked about the importance of guard rebounding before the game. Uh, how satisfying was it to you to see Faku and uh, Will Barton come up with some big offensive boards down the stretch? Yeah, I mean, uh, you, you need everybody. You know, we're always preaching gang rebounding, which means we need all five on the floor to help uh, in that regard. Um, you know, it was tied on the glass overall at 43 all, but we had 15 second chance points to their nine, uh, you know, which is always a good stat. Um, you know, and, and we need that. You know, we need Will. We need Faku. We need Austin. We need guys off the bench, everybody to contribute to the cause. When we rebound, we, we win games at a high level. When we get out rebounded, uh, we have a losing record. And uh, there's definitely a correlation there. Hey, Coach, I've got uh, two for you here real quick. First, on that final play, was the assignment to keep the ball out of Steph's hands at all costs or did it just kind of work out like that? No, we, uh, with 2.2 seconds to go, um, they're out of timeouts. We zoned the three-point line, knowing that they needed a three. Um, and, and that's where we were able to stay on the outside, keep them inside the paint. Um, took away Steph coming to the ball, which was a plan. Iguodala broke loose, found a crack in that, and obviously got up a almost a desperation three at the buzzer. But 
Um, our, our guys executed the defensive coverage on that last play uh, very well. And then we're not even in New Year's yet, so I guess putting things into perspective, how big is this win considering the personnel that you had and, and how, I guess, undermanned you were? Yeah, I mean, it's as I told our players, was it pretty at all times? Uh, were we terrific in that second half? No, but when you think about it, you know, um, we have back in Denver, Jamal Murray, P.J. Dozier, Michael Porter, Marcus Howard. Uh, then you throw in the fact that Monte Morris, Aaron Gordon, and Vladko and Bol Bol were all out tonight, um, all hands on deck. Uh, and to come in here and, and beat this team, best record in the NBA, on the road, uh, this is one of the best crowds in the NBA, um, it, it's a terrific win for us. And, and I'm, the biggest thing for me, Brandon, is after the really disappointing home loss going into Christmas against Charlotte, uh, to respond the way we have these last two on the road, I think speaks volumes about um, the, the mental toughness uh, of our team and our players. Hi, Coach. Congrats for the win. Uh, what can you tell me about Facu's first starting game of the season and about the, the next game against Warrior? the opportunity to close the year at home. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Esteban. Yeah, I mean, you know, Faku, uh, with Monte being out, easy decision to start him. Uh, I thought last season he guarded Steph Curry well at times. Um, so, you know, he goes out there, gives you four rebounds, he gets seven assists. Um, I thought I had really good examples of playing defense throughout the game. Um, I was joking with him in the locker room. Uh, he kept things interesting by missing that second free throw. He could have put us up four, but he wanted to keep fans tuned in. So all the fans back in Cordoba can thank Faku for that. But uh, we go home. We have a chance, to, to your point, to close out uh, this crazy 2021 year with a home win. Uh, and, and hopefully uh, that, that leads us into a much better and safer and healthier 2022. Thank you.